Is it really dark? Kind of.
for the first one. So again, push-ups can be done if you have a safe wall. You can do them on a wall, on a bench, something that is stable. With the push-ups, we're gonna try to keep that chest over that surface, and then we're leading with the chest, coming back on up. So it's just regular push-ups here. 30 seconds, we're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. And from your knees or toes, it's we're leading with the chest on these. Awesome, I want you to think of that exhale as you're pushing on up. You got it, you got five more seconds here. So for one more. And resting there. So for the next one, we are doing that one arm row. So if you have a dumbbell, you're gonna grab your dumbbell. If you don't have a dumbbell, if you have some sort of towel, you can use that. So with the towel, if you don't have a dumbbell, you can be bent over position, and then you're going to pull it in towards your stomach. So if you don't have that dumbbell. Oh, Gina, you're already going. <laughs> your head. All right, we're doing that overhand one arm row. We'll go three, two, one. Let's go. So we're thinking about that weight is coming to that back pocket. Slow and controlled coming down. So yeah, you're gonna think about bringing that weight all the way back to that hip. Good, slow coming down. Say, so go for two more on this side. And switching on to that other side. In three, two, one, let's go. Same idea here. Just watching those shoulders that they're not hiking up by your ears. So we want to keep them to back and down. That's it, we have 10 more seconds to go. For one more and resting there. So the last exercise, we have those side lunges. So option here, do either stay in a wide stance and then coming in for that side lunge and then kind of stepping yourself to that one leg stand, or you can take that full step to the side and then try to get that balance. All right, you want to scale that up a bit. You can use a chair for support too. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. So we're taking that step as one option, getting those hips back. So you can kind of see I'm sinking the hips back and then coming to that one leg stand. So you can use your other foot to balance you. And want that knee to stay in the frame of the body. That's it. And then trying to get that balance at the top. So there's a little bit of thinking here. Good, and we're gonna switch sides. So we'll do the other leg. In three, two, one, let's go. If you can, I can't seem to think that way here. <laughs> it's like I can't get myself going the other direction. It's a little bit of mental. <laughs> Awesome, so we're pushing through that heel to come back on up. And trying to pause there for a few seconds. Go for one more. Nice, and resting. So that is our first round for the first part. We're gonna go back to the top, grab a quick drink, but we're gonna go back to those push-ups. When you're ready. So we've got two more rounds. We're back to push-ups. I know nobody really likes these ones, but you can do them. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. So you're trying to lead with that chest. It's almost like a moving plank. So you can start in that high plank position. 
Almost there, you get 10 more seconds. One more, go for one more full rep. And resting. Awesome job, we're gonna grab that weight for those one arm rows, unless you're using that towel. So get your one arm row. Let's go in three, two, one, let's go. Good. Try to keep that chest towards the ground. And really get those back muscles. Let's go for one more on this side. Good. And switching on. Squeeze that weight. 
Let's go for one more. Nice and resting on those. All right, one last movement for this first part. It's those side lunges to one leg stand. So you got your side lunge to one leg stand. Let's get ready in three, two, one. Let's go. You don't have to worry about coming down as deep. It's balanced. You got five more. Awesome. And switching on to the other leg. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. In five seconds. Go for one more. Let's just do one extra. And resting there. All right, grab a drink. We're going to be moving into the second part. So we are done with that first part. We don't have to look back at those exercises. So, for this part, we have four exercises. We're going through this three times as well. The first one is a bear crawl. So if you're not coming on the ground, you can do some standing side to side as if you were almost crawling, but standing. If you're okay to come on the ground, you're gonna come on all fours, lifting the knees up, and then we're just doing little crawls here. So little movements. So it is a super challenging exercise. Again, if you don't want to be down, you can do the standing side to side. Um, so that's our first exercise. From there, I'll explain them as we get to them, but you're going to be doing an alternating one arm lift and press. So that is a hinge with an overhead press. So if you have a weight that you can press overhead, grab that. If not, we can use a towel. And then the next one is a front side raise. So those are front and side raises, so lighter weights are good for those. The last exercise is a one leg T reach. So this one is the one if you have a chair you can use it. You're going to think about tracing forward to the side and then back. You get option to add that curtsy, but we're staying in that position one leg at a time. How's all that sound? So we're gonna start with that bear crawl if you wanna try them out. If not, standing position or just a plank will be great too. So any sort of plank. All right, I think Alan just added these in, so. <laughs> we haven't done these, so I don't think the bear crawls. Maybe you have. We'll go in three, two, one. Let's go, so you're on all fours to start. You're gonna lift up those knees slightly and then just little, Crawls. So it's a little movement. Your arm, or sorry, your hand and your foot are moving at the same time. So again, you can just hold a plank here or doing our standing abs. Good, and resting. So we're going to rest on those. The next movement is that alternating one arm lift with a press. So a weight that you can press overhead. What you're going to do here is we are alternating. So we're going to think about hips staying high. You're thinking about that deadlift. So hinging, hips are staying high. We're keeping that weight close to the body, then coming back on up, pressing the weight, and then we're going to switch hands. So you can kind of switch hands when you get to about the hip. So overhead press, switch about here, going to the other side. Does that make sense? Kind of. If that's too much, just doing that overhead press with both hands is great as well. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. 
So we're thinking about hips are staying high, soft bend in the knees. You're gonna come on up, press overhead, then back down, switch to that other hand. Good, everyone. You're fast learners. The switching of hands is kind of the... We want to make sure when we are going overhead, we're not overextending the back. We want to keep upright. And last one. And resting on those. So it's just 35 seconds of those. The next one is our front side raise. This one you will need some lighter weights or no weights at all. You're going to come to a front raise and then a side raise. Option to do front and side at the same time. All right, we're here for 30 seconds. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. So I want you to stay nice and upright. Yeah, that's it. Set those shoulders. So this is option to do either front and then side or front and side at the same time. Got five seconds. One more. And resting on those. Our last movement are those T reaches. So for these ones, if you do have that chair, you can use it for a guidance. You don't need it, but if you want a little bit of assistance, you can kind of use it for a base. So you're gonna think about going forward and to the side and then back and then maybe adding that curtsy, that is an optional one. We're gonna go three, two, one. Let's go. So soft bend in that knee, we're going a big reach forward. So I'm almost in a hinge position. Getting a lot of tension in the glute and hamstrings and quad. And of course, you're working on the balance as well. Almost there, you got five seconds. And switching sides. We'll go with the other leg. In three, two, one. Let's go. So again, tracing a T. But then if you want to add the curtsy, it kind of messes up the T. You don't have to come down as low. The lowness is kind of an option. If you want to make it a little harder. Less than five for one more. And resting there. So that is one round down. We are back to that bear crawl. Grab a drink. We've got two more rounds and then you're done. These rooms are so dry. Forget it, never here. All right, so we are back to beer crawl or the standing spider man. So we're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. So again, beer crawl, those knees are just hovering above the ground with little, little movements here. Got 15 seconds. Almost there, last five. In three, two, one. And resting. Woo. <laughs> We're gonna come on up for that alternating water and lift and press. Grabbing that weight if you are using one, again, you can use a towel here. It's just holding it on both sides and hinging the overhead with both sides if you're using that towel. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. I really wanna make sure that you're not rounding that back. You wanna keep the shoulders back and down.
It's so almost think about that chest out. Got 10 more seconds. Last one. And resting. Let's put that weight to the side. We're going to grab those lighter weights for those front side raises. So working those shoulders. In three, two, one. Let's go. I'm just coming to shoulder level. Got 10 more seconds here. Good posture, everyone. Nice, last one. And resting on those. We're gonna put those weights to the side for our last one. So that is that one leg T reach. How are you doing? Pace okay? We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. Making that trace. I have this awful cold for my daughter. It's a daycare cold. But it definitely makes things harder. Got 10 more seconds to go. Nice. And then we'll switch sides. That other leg in three, two, one. Let's go, everyone. Nice reaches. The further you reach, the harder those are. Got five seconds. Good and resting there. All right, everyone. This is our last round through. How are you feeling? Okay. So we're back down. Grab a drink. Last time. There's nothing after this. Maybe a quick stretch, but that's it. We're doing awesome. Let's go back to that bear crawl. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Little motions. You're halfway there. Feel us a little bit of the quads, just with keeping that position. Then in three, two, one, and resting on those. We're gonna come up, grabbing that weight for that overhead press. All right, let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Set those shoulders. Keep that chest out. That weight is just going right along your legs here. Almost there. You got five more. Then in three, two, one. And resting on those who are done with those ones. We're going to grab those weights for front side raise. You're so close. All right, let's go three, two, one. Let's go. Uh oh, I think I froze. Did I freeze? Yeah. I promise I actually froze. I'm not pretending. Keep going. Hopefully, I will eventually. I'll keep walking you through. Got five more seconds here. And resting there. Am I back? Nope. Still frozen? Yeah. I'm going to walk you through. So the next one, we're doing a one leg T reach. Let's get ready. 
Ready in three, two, one. Let's go. Hopefully I come back. You'll have to watch each other. Still nothing. All right, keeping it nice and low. I can see you all. I just see that I'm frozen there. <laughs> you have five more seconds. Good, and switching sides. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go, this is it, last 30 seconds. Those nice reaches, keep it low, you got it. Really working on that balance. Take your time with them. Got 10 more. Awesome, last five here. In three, two, one, and resting there. I'm still frozen, so I'm gonna have to let you go. You did amazing, it's 10.30. Awesome job, everyone. I am here, I promise. Great job. <laughs> I don't know what happened, this is virtual life. We'll see you all, awesome work.